Well, British police are aggressively investigating the attack that occurred last night in Manchester, but it's not their only priority tonight. They're also keeping an eye out for crime think on the Internet. Those are unapproved thoughts that people might express, including those from DailyMail.com columnist Katie Hopkins. She tweeted after the attacks this. Western men, these are your wives, your daughters, your sons. Stand up, rise up, demand action. Do not carry on as normal, cowed. Well, for that, another Twitter user reported her to the police in Great Britain, and the police confirmed they were investigating. She was also reported for a since-deleted tweet, which she said she miswrote, saying that Britain needed a final solution to terrorism. She re reworded that later. Katie Hopkins joins us tonight. So, terrorist attack, an arena in Manchester, and kill children, and you're under investigation. How does that work exactly, Katie? I, I really don't know anymore here in the UK. What I can say is there's certain thoughts you're just simply not allowed to have. So for me to say that this is no good anymore, it's not good enough even to say that we can't carry on as normal. I demand action. I want people to use their anger to say, we need to do something to stop this. We need to be deporting these people, deport the people that are hiding them, and get amongst this, because this is our little girl, our eight-year-old, little Safi yeah. that died, uh, you know, slaughtered. We need to be able to talk like that. We're not allowed to talk like that. Now, clearly, certain things I tweet, you know, I absolutely accept words matter. I use the word final solution in a tweet, and I would not in any way want to use that term and the inference other people lay on that. What I meant was we need a lasting solution, a resolution to this. you got to figure out how to fix my it. Deep upset. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's that, but you know, it's 24 hours now since I woke up to the news of what had gone on. And I just feel what we're missing is that real feeling of emotion connecting with the fact that this is our little girls. These are our children. This could be our children next. You know, we've just had the threat level raised to critical, which is the maximum level. Military are coming into our streets, which of course is a great thing. But what I always wonder, Tucker, is how did we go from saying we are strong, we stand united, we are not cowed, to tanks arriving on our street. We do have a problem. We did have a problem. And now our little girls have been slaughtered in the worst possible way with nails and nuts and bolts in a, in a homemade bomb. My children at breakfast this morning said, you know what, I'd much rather be shot than caught in a bomb that's made of ball bearings. And I well, just wonder, awful. you know, what conversation are we having here in 21st century Britain when Which... that's what children are growing up with? Children are growing up with terror being normal and a man planting a bomb filled with nuts in bolts when they're out having fun, that's normal in Britain. And we brought that war into our country. We brought that war onto our pavements, onto our streets. And I don't hear anybody still, no politician standing up and saying, I am sorry, we were wrong. We are going to change what we have well, done. Of course Islamic not. extremism can't They're go investigating on. you for your tweets in the country that gave the rest of us freedom of speech. I mean, this is very quickly a, kind of a philosophical question, but is a government that is demonstrably unwilling to defend its own children, and they are, despite the slogans and the tanks, this is going on a long time, is that a legitimate government? I mean, what's the point of having a government if they won't protect your children? Seriously. Absolutely. It seems to me that the establishment are now on the side of anything that represents diversity or indeed Muslims supporting Islam. We immediately have to say the Greater Manchester head of police came out this evening and said, you know, we will not tolerate hate against the Muslim community. And it, for so many of us, we're kind of saying, well, it's OK, then we will tolerate our little girl, eight-year-old girls being slaughtered as they right. leave a concert, but we won't tolerate hate speech. That right. seems to be where we're at in the UK tonight. Well, this, this is, and around the world, and this is exactly why there are political revolutions, very uncomfortable, messy ones taking place throughout the West, exactly because of this reason. Katie, thank you for joining us tonight. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Tucker.